I'm Becky Jeanette. I'm a volunteer at the Kingwood Library and also an avid reader. And today I would like to introduce you to Janet Ivanovich's latest book. It's called Plum Spooky. And the subtitle is a Stephanie Plum, quote, between the numbers, unquote, novel. If you're familiar with Stephanie Ivanovich, you uh, have pro probably read some of her numbers books, such as Seven Up or To the Nines. And uh, all of these books are about Stephanie Plum, who is a bounty hunter. She came to be a bounty hunter not as her first career choice. She worked at the button factory in New Jersey, where she lives. And now she works in her un uncle's bail bond. Uh, business as a bounty hunter. She has an unusual cast of support characters. There is Lula, who is a former lady of the night, now working in Vincent Plum's bail bond office. Um, there is also her grandma, Mazur, who is um, an unusual grandmother. Joe Morelli, who is a policeman and also Stephanie's boyfriend. And then there's Ranger, who runs a security company and pops up unexpectedly when Stephanie generally needs him to be there. This particular book uh, takes place and involves the Pine Barrens uh, in, in New Jersey and also some new characters that add a different dimension to the book. There is the bad guy, Wolf Grimoire, and uh, Munch who Stephanie is looking for because he didn't show up for his court appearance, which she does. And when Stephanie is involved in looking for people, she generally runs into a number of complications. In this particular book, it's monkeys. So let me suggest that you come to the Kingwood Library, locate Stephanie Plum's different adventures and enjoy reading and I would heartily recommend Plum Spooky. Hi, my name is Heather Burke and I'm the facilitator for the Daytime Book Club at the Kingwood Library. For the month of May, our book selection was Molokai by Alan Brennard. This fascinating story takes place in early 19th century Hawaii and is rich in historical detail. Molokai is the location of the actual leper colony of Kalapapa, which still exists today. It wasn't until 1969 that the Hawaiian authorities stopped the practice of mandatory isolation, and today the village is still home to a few descendants of the original residents. The book focuses on Rachel Kalama, a young Hawaiian girl who was afflicted with leprosy at the age of seven years old. Rachel is forcibly removed from her family and banished to a leper colony on the island of Molokai. In a strange new place, surrounded by the sick and dying, she must try to make a new life for herself. Although it is fiction, her story is actually a conglomeration of the experiences told by many of the actual residents of Kalapapa. Our group really enjoyed this book and gave it a rating of 9.5 out of 10. I personally learned a lot about Hawaii's turbulent past, as well as about leprosy, which is now known as Hansen's disease. This story was both tragic and hopeful, and one cannot help getting caught up in the lives of these amazing people. I highly recommend this book. Hello, my name is Jim Johnson. I'm a staff member here at the Kingwood Branch Library. Uh, and I was going to talk about a book uh, that I just recently finished called Neuromancer by William Gibson. Not usually a big science fiction fan, but this one I remember uh, about the time I was probably in high school or junior high having a friend or two read this one. and Didn't think much of it at the time, wasn't really interested in it, but uh, picked it up recently uh, as a result of um, uh, finding some interest or learning a little bit about uh, virtual worlds like Second Life and other things like that. And uh, this particular book, uh, the year was written in 84, I believe, uh, won all three big sci-fi uh, novel awards. So it's received a lot of acclaim. That had been, this is actually the 10th edition, so if a book is going to be reprinted in, in an anniversary type edition, you know it's, it's probably something worth reading. But anyway, this one uh, kept my interest uh, for most uh, of the way through. Uh, not going to give too much away, but uh, just to give you a little uh, clue as to, to what it was about. This is, uh, was written before the internet and the information age was really, really big. And uh, they say this is one of those novels that sort of eased our way into that age uh, while projecting kind of a darker image of the future like a lot of sci-fi novels will. It still 
a pretty engaging and interesting read. It introduced terms like cyberpunk and cyberspace uh, and other things like that. You can see how uh, uh, movies such as The Matrix uh, borrowed heavily probably on, on uh, ideas presented in this book. A uh, very interesting book, not maybe one for, for teens or kids, definitely not, uh, but definitely uh, something that's uh, worth reading even if you're not a sci-fi fan, just to get an eye into, uh, into uh, where one novelist saw our future headed. Uh, again, this is William Gibson's Neuromancer. You can check it out at the Kingwood Public Library.